everyone, welcome to a really quick overview of how my bug bounty template for Notion works. Um, this is a much shorter video, the much longer video is also off my channel if you really want to see this in depth. This is just a TLDNR version of the video. So step one is our learning roadmap. This allows us to write down the skills we want to learn and kind of place it on this Kanban board. So if we want to learn a new hacking technique, we make a new one here, we might say, you know, XSE. We go in here, um, we, if we read articles, we can include it here. Um, and we might do, you know, motivation, why do you want to learn this? What is our goal? Uh, and the specific tasks we can do. So we might say, you know, watch a video. You might, you might say Google for disclosures. Um, and then we have a review by. So this would be when we review, you know, how much we've learned, what we've read, how much we're kind of improving our knowledge. Um, and, you know, research and then status up here. So whether or not we're to learning it, so we're just trying to collect resources, we're upskilling, so we're actively trying to pursue it, or we're happy with our level of knowledge. We're not really looking to focus on it. We might put happy with level of knowledge there. And then we can move them around as a Kanban board. So that's the learning roadmap. Let's look at our research. So this is where you throw in every link, every article that you just see on Twitter and you go, ah, oh, interesting. Um, you throw it in here and you can take actual notes on it. So we have my YouTube video and we have, you know, Dom XSS looks interesting, resources like Portswiggle Labs you might want to look into after we've watched it, whether or not we've started watching it, it's in progress, it's finished what skill it's associated with, so this is XSS, and then we give it some tags, so, you know, for this is XSS, it's also inside a PhD, so if you really like somebody's work, you can just say, go for it, I'll look at a video by them, and the URL, so if you start collecting like a ton of links, you can put it all in there. Um, Notion comes with a web clipper, so if you want to it's like copy a bunch of links. Let's say you want to go through uh, bug bites, just go through one at a time. That's how you do it. So that's the research. And you can just add stuff here and add your notes. It's really important as you're watching things and looking at resources to not just read them passively. Like don't just read them and go, that's interesting. Like really take notes on what you think about the article, what you think about the technique, any kind of precise technical details you might want to know because they'll really help in the future. Okay, so then we have... CTFs. Now, CTFs are, this is one of kind of like a classic notebook. If you've never used Notion before, this might be how you use it. Um, so we might go, okay, we're working Hacker 101. We've got a list of levels here. So a little something to get you started, micro CMS, pet shop. Uh, and I've got a key here. This is just how I feel about each level. So some, I've got it, I'm good, I don't need any help with it. Other ones, I'm like, mm, you know, I'm being dumb. I just, I got hit a brick wall, I know I can do it, but I just, I'm not looking at it the right way, I need to stop for the moment. And then the kind of done in progress brick wall and whether I've not started them. So I might go here, actually I haven't started with the pet shop, so I'll make that grayed out. Um, and if you want to add a new level, you can do that here. And it will load up a new page with a new level and you can write some notes. So what kind of notes are in here? Very basic kind of easy mode, just had a look at some investigation skills uh, and in here, oh no, not that one, I might have something else. Um, so very basic notebook, just, you can include screenshots in these, you can include um, text or you can copy stuff from Burp if you're using Burp and that's a very simple uh, CTF tracker and you might want to add a new CTF in here as well so example CTF example levels you can add new levels just like we've done before um, and if you want to change the key you can so that is CTFs um, then we have so that's kind of I know some a lot of you are beginners that's kind of what you might be focusing on then we've got kind of actual hacking stuff so here is go hack something. Now that is a list of a bunch of different programs that I'm interested in hacking, the assets associated with them, 
Um, I've got some tags like what they do, so if they're software, travel, the size of the scope, is it a small scope or a large scope? Um, and what I might do here is I might go um, filter. I want to just see ones that have a mobile app. Very simple. Um, maybe I want to look for ones that have an Android app. They're the same. Um, so here is where you would add like all of your private invitations. You just press new, then open it, and then you can just go through here and go hacker one URL or bug crowd URL, public program, don't need a VPN, bounties are average, interest level is very, very interested. Tags, maybe it's a travel and it's small scope. Any thoughts you have on it looks interesting but the scope is a little small um, and then you've got these properties here so focus on just takes your interest level so if your interest level is medium extreme low um, it will tick it and then it will also check whether or not the program's finished so if you've done a program and it ends um, it won't show on focus on anymore uh, then we've got bugs, so these link to another database. Um, so you could have a single target and show every single bug you've got for that target. And same with notes, again, every single note you've got for that target. So I go back and I take the filter off. So I can see all of them. In Airbnb here, you can see I've got an example XSS and I've got example notes in there. So there's also in here different views so this is the embedded one it's quite squished so it fits nicely on the page but there's if you open it as a page you can go in here and see it as a big long table that's got some filters on it um, you can look at it as a list you can look at it as like just filter out the ones that are really interesting um, so that way you don't have to see the entire list uh, so that's just some ways you could use it and you'll know that it notice that it filters out on here as well So if I go into embedded and I open black back blaze and I change it to be Extremely interested Go back here interested. We'll see back blaze is now on my home screen um, We have a to-do list here. This is a really basic to-do list You know you finish something it gets ticked off it disappears it's supposed to be really efficient so you don't have to think about it. You can just be like, what do I need to do? Oh, um, I need to, I don't know, um, run subdomain uh, stuff on it. Maybe I might say, oh, you know, it had a GraphQL endpoint. Maybe I'll just GraphQL research question mark. And it doesn't have to be neat. It's just tick it off, done, disappears. Uh, then we've got notes, so notes here uh, link to um, the target. I might have some tags in here, so hunting for idols. Um, I might have some uh, reminders here. So on Tuesday, I want to do that. On Monday, uh, I want to look at something else. And then you can go here, remind you, what, two days before, done. Um, and look at the target, you know, this is Airbnb, so that way I can see on my targets page every note associated with Airbnb. Uh, and yeah, so that's notes. Let's look at bugs. So as you hunt bugs, you'll start to get bugs, essentially, and start to find them. So it's really important to make a note of what the bug is. So you might have the report, and the report kind of it's not designed for you to follow your own steps, but for somebody else to follow steps instead of thinking back to your thought process. So if you find a bug on one target, you might actually see a very similar setup at another target. So the question then becomes, can you follow the same steps? Well, no, because that was for that specific team. But actually, you could follow your same thought process. So this is why we take notes on it. So what's the bug? How did you find it? So that's your thought process. Steps to reproduce is what you tell the security team. Impact might be something that you write. It might be something that you f figure out by speaking to someone. It might be something you disagree with. 
So you might include what you think the impact is, even if the report is like the security team disagrees with the level of impact. And then some reflection. One of the most important things you can do when you take notes is to reflect on them. So did that work? Did this work? Was it a hard bug to find, a really easy bug to find? Is it something you're particularly proud of? Is it something you might want to write up in the future? All in there. And that again links to target. So we can change the state, you know, NA, duplicate, we can change the severity and we can change the bug class. Sometimes it can be more than one bug class. So that was kind of a whirlwind tour. There's a much longer video coming that goes into far more detail. So that's my Notion bug bounty template. Um, once again, links in the description to duplicate it. And also if you want to uh, sign up with a referral code, um, you get $10. I get $5, but I can't use it because I'm a student and I get it for free anyway. If you're also a student, you get it for free. Just send me your email address. Um, otherwise, I think it's 5 or $4 a month. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.